Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Rolly Hoyt. The state of Arkansas investigating two companies here and their ties to China. If those connections are too close, they could be in violation of a new law. THV 11 Sarah Horbakowitz has been digging into this story all day. And Sarah, we know a separate agricultural company has already been forced to sell their land. What do we know about this investigation? Yeah, Rolly, as Agriculture Secretary Wes Ward continues his investigations, Attorney General Tim Griffin is now looking into those two companies. If they are found to have significant ties to China in any way, they too could be kicked out of Arkansas. It's a concern to me, not just as a farmer, but as a citizen. This year, State Senator Blake Johnson was the lead sponsor on Act 636, a new law banning some foreign countries from owning land in Arkansas, citing national security concerns. We have to trade internationally, but we don't have to be uh, taken advantage of because we want to be internationally traded. Carrying out that law in October, Governor Sanders forced a Chinese-owned company to sell its farmland. Chinese state-owned corporations filter that technology back to their homeland, stealing American research and telling our enemies how to target American farms. Now the Secretary of Agriculture is investigating two more companies, Resevere Machinery and cryptocurrency firm Jones Digital. The governor's administration believes they, quote, may have significant ties to China. The governor saying in a statement Wednesday, in part, China is a hostile foreign adversary and under my administration, we will follow the law. While there was one incident of Chinese nationals accused of spying in Arkansas in 2018, Johnson says the law is largely preventative. We don't want our, our the people who are enemies using our own agricultural land to feed, feed and, and our enemy. According to a Farm Bureau report, all of the privately owned agriculture land in Arkansas, 90%, 96% of that is owned by Americans, leaving just 4% owned by foreign countries. Of that 4%, most of it is owned by Canada and the Netherlands. China falls into that others category. According to the USDA, nationwide, China controls less than 1% of U.S. farmland. Very interesting, Sarah. Thank you. Now, Acts 636 differentiates between friendly and unfriendly foreign countries. Those distinctions come from a federal document called the List of National Defense Adversaries.